Good afternoon, I'm Glenn Walker. And I'm Lou Parker. Thanks for joining us this afternoon. We begin with developing news. The Vincent Thomas Bridge is still closed at this hour over a day after a truck carrying lithium ion batteries exploded and caught fire. Workers now appear to be preparing to move that truck in what has been a slow moving and dangerous cleanup operation. KTLA Fice Gene Kang joining us live now on the bridge in San Pedro with the very latest. Hi, Glenn and Lou. Officials are warning everyone that Highway 47 will be shut down indefinitely until further notice. As you see, it is quite empty because of this scene. We're about a thousand feet away from that semi truck as we zoom in here. Andre Cox is going to do that right now. But there is a lot of activity that's been going on in the last several minutes. As you see, it is still flipped over on its side and they're monitoring potential flare ups with drones. Fire engines are nearby as emergency crews are now checking to see if it's safe enough to use a force lift to remove the semi truck and place it on a trailer to eventually transport it to a remote location. A huge explosion rocked San Pedro when a semi truck carrying six industrial sized lithium ion batteries overturned. One battery caught fire. The flames could be seen yesterday for miles. Aerial footage shows a significant backup on both Highway 47 and the Vincent Thomas Bridge. More than 70 firefighters fought to contain the area. They decided not to use water. Why? That's due to potentially dangerous chemicals. Instead, they let the fire burn out and say the lithium ion batteries were only at 30 to 60 percent capacity. Emergency crews are being extremely careful today because they say the batteries still have heat and changes in temperature could cause chain reactions. When this is going to be finished, it's very difficult to say. We have a lot of um, hundreds, if not thousands of employees that are waiting to come back to work millions of dollars that it's costing to keep this roadway closed. Meantime, firefighters are looking into how they can remove the semi truck with public safety their top priority. There's a lot of pressure on that incident commander to hurry up and come come up with a decision, but it's still too premature to put a time stamp on that and, you know, give an estimate. Um, we're feeling here that perhaps in the next 24 hours we're going to have it moved out of the way, but that is the best case scenario. The L.A. Fire Department called in their hazmat team along with the Department of Transportation and LAPD to clear the area. Caltrans says Highway 47 remains closed in both directions at Vincent Thomas Bridge. Currently, there is no solid timeline for reopening. Back out here live as you see another tractor trailer just moved through to the scene as well as flatbed truck. As we know, uh, this is one of those ongoing situations, even though everything seems like it's in place right now. As you heard from the firefighters, this could be a situation where at best case scenario, it could be another 24 hours that this highway is shut down. Now, as for the investigation, that continues as to exactly how did that semi truck flip over? There are so many factors involved and detectives are looking into that as we speak. Reporting live here in San Pedro, Gene Kang, KTLA 5 News.